today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Galdinus. Saint Galdinus is honored in Milan as one of its principal patrons. His name appears linked with that of Saints Ambrose and Charles Borromeo at the close of every litany of the Milanese Rite. As a member of the famous Valvarsi della Scala family, he was chancellor and archdeacon under two archbishops of Milan, winning the confidence of the clergy and the people. When Pope Alexander III was elected in 1150, a few dissentient cardinals elected a rival pope more favorable to Frederick I Barbarossa. Milan had already offended the emperor by claiming the right to select its own magistrates, but when the citizens acknowledged Alexander III, he became further infuriated. Archbishop Hubert and his archdeacon Galdinus were forced to withdraw into exile, and the following year, Frederick, with a great army, invaded the city, which surrendered after a siege. In the year 1166, Archbishop Hubert of Milan died, whereupon Galdinus, much against his own will, was appointed his successor with additional charge of Lombardy and consecrated by Pope Alexander III. Deeply concerned about the poor, the new prelate made the care and comfort of his distressed flock his chief priority. Thus, when the Lombard states entered into a league to rebuild Milan, Galdinus threw himself heart and soul into the new undertaking. He preached constantly and enforced discipline among the clergy, who incidentally had become lax. In time, as his earthly sojourn drew to a close, although too weak to celebrate Mass, he succeeded in delivering a stirring sermon against all false doctrines. Towards the conclusion of the Mass, he lost consciousness and died. He was canonized by the then reigning Pope Alexander III.